Now, we all need a certain amount of estrogen, but what happens when you have too much of a good thing? Well, here to explain what estrogen overload is, natural health expert Lorna Vanderhey. Good morning to you. Thank you. This is a very interesting topic, and we're going to be delving in. So, first things first, why are we ending up with too much estrogen? Okay, so the body makes estrogen. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But we're also getting estrogens from the environment. So, when you eat soy foods, you're getting estrogens found in the plants. Mm -hmm. um, we're also getting estrogens from our Cosmetics. So if you're lo looking at labels of your cosmetics and you see the word paraben, methylparaben, propylparaben, those are compounds that raise your estrogen levels. So really? you can get it from creams and lotions and sunscreens and wow. things you put on your skin. Mm -hmm. um, then we also are getting estrogens in our food. Some dairy products are high in estrogen. That's why you should always buy organic. And pesticides. Pesticides fit right into your estrogen receptor and turn it on so raising your estrogen levels. Is that right? So all those small factors can really add up to what you're calling estrogen overload? Right. And if you're stressed on top of it all, your estrogen levels go up as well. And estrogen not only affects women, but men, men too. Is, yeah. So if men have too much estrogen, that's when they get the beer bellies, breasts, and erectile dysfunction. Is that right? Yeah. Now, what are some of the symptoms we would see in women? In women, when they have too much estrogen, we get a lot of belly fat mm -hmm. and we can't lose it. Um, endometriosis, uterine fibroids, heavy periods, breast lumps, uh, ovarian cysts, these are all signs that you have too much estrogen. Uh, not a good thing. So it can really escalate, but if you have those stubborn pounds that you're trying to lose and you can't do it, this could be the culprit. It could certainly be that. And so bringing your estrogen levels back into the normal range is really important. Mm -hmm. And we can do that quite easily. So okay. that's a good thing. Let's talk about some yeah. of those ways that we can bring our estrogen down. So, and we'll start right here. When we look at um, food, cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, cabbage, and kale, they will bring your estrogen back into the normal range. Drinking green tea will also bring your estrogen down. Um, rosemary is a great herb to add to everything. And if you don't like those foods, you can always take Astro Smart, which has all the ingredients nicely wrapped into capsules. Sometimes it is hard to get yeah. all those veggies in, so it that's is. good and convenient. Um, and how much should we be consuming? Well, that's a good question. So, you know, you really should be eating 7 to 10 cups, half cup servings of vegetables every day. Wow. If you're not, then you've really got to look at what you're doing in regards to vegetable consumption. Ah. Yeah, it's a okay. lot of veggies. Um, That's and a then big quota. we can detoxify estrogens using Epsom salts and baking soda baths. So at night, you know, a couple cups of Epsom salts, a box of baking soda, get in your bathtub, dry brushing helps. And when you choose cosmetics, choose the ones without parabens, especially sunscreens. You know, the sunscreens are so estrogenic that you've really got to look for a good one. And, you know, Beaver makes a great um, natural sunscreen. Okay. And, you know, then looking at the bad guys. Mm -hmm. So every year the Environmental Working Group puts out a report on all of the bad uh, things in I wouldn't foods. look at this basket and call it the bad guy. Those all yeah. look like good things. So these are all bad if you're buying them commercially produced. So okay. you've got to buy organic. And apples have been on the number one most toxic food five years in a row on EWG's list. Think about moms putting apples in their kids' lunch. Of They've got to be organic. Strawberries, you, if you've got a child under five, they shouldn't even eat one unless it is organic. Really? Organic, organic with these ones. And, um, yeah, it makes a big difference in Incredible. regards to your estrogen. If people can make one change today, what would you recommend? I would recommend that they buy organic food whenever they can because the pesticides fit right into your estrogen receptor turn it on and raise your estrogen levels, not just in you and me, but in our children as well. Okay, great. Yeah. Great information here this morning. And you are giving a free public lecture that's yes. taking place at Community Natural Foods tonight between 6.30 and 8 p.m. We only really scratched the surface of yes. what you'll be speaking about tonight. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this morning, Lorna. And more information on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca.